go for the the big play on that play. If you're going to do that, you do that on first down. You don't do it on third and six. Plus the incompletion stops the clock. And that's tangible too for Arkansas State. They will punt. And probably try to keep it inside the 10 yard line. And that's exactly what they're going to do. And that ball rolls to the one Fancy. yard line. Run the football. This is dangerous. This is dangerous. Dowdy's going to run out of the end zone and get knocked down. Almost didn't put the, the four football yard line. Away. Second down. Here's Andrews. Still on his feet. Turns it inside. Now he's dropped at about the 16 yard line. It is a Western Kentucky. It may down. come back after this flag, oh. though. 10 offense. Have the dish to the goal. Replay second down. Second and six, they're at the five yard line after the penalty. Dowdy in the middle. It is complete. Nothing glamorous about the catch by Tim Gorski, but positive yardage is what they need. From the 13, this is Andrews trying to get some blocking help. Not a whole lot. And the winner is on the inside track to secure a Sun Belt bowl berth. Dowdy under pressure. He'll just chuck it into section seven. I wonder if Dowdy was outside foul. the tackle box. Face man. Number three, defense. 15 yards from the previous spot. First down. Dowdy out of bounds. Looking at Mitchell. Two timeouts left. You've got to throw the ball down the middle of the field. Second down and 10. Dowdy out of the pocket, throwing too high. Third down and 10. He's going to have to run, taken down from behind. And taken down Fourth in down attempt down. by the Hilltoppers on offense this year. Under pressure, he'll throw, and is it caught in bounds? They say it is. See if we can get something here. Yeah, I agree. I don't think there's enough to overturn it. And the official was after further review. Right the there. ruling on the field stands. Completed catch. So the catch is complete, and the first down Four keeps the three and still kick it. Dowdy will swing it out to Andrews. Up the sideline, back, and he stays on his feet inside the 40. Turns it back in field, down inside the 20. And this is why he's an all-purpose threat. He catches the ball out of the backfield. He gets north and south. He breaks tackles. He cuts back across the green. He makes the football. The clock is running. First and 10 at the 18. This is Andrews in the middle, inside the 10. Western Kentucky to continue to run the football down the gut. First and goal at the 7. And toss to Andrews. Gain of maybe one. Dowdy resets the play from the sideline. In the end zone. Picked off, but out of bounds. An empty set. Five wides. Dowdy to the corner. Too high. Incomplete. And Antonio Andrews is not on the field for the Hilltoppers. Pressure. He'll throw in the corner. Caught. They signal touchdown. Western Kentucky. The ways. Number 76 offense. Blocking towards his own goal line. Five yard a 15 yard penalty. Replay fourth down. Now here's a play for all the marbles right here. And, and, to and Antonio Andrews is on the field. They have to get the touchdown. They put pressure. They throw back, and it is too high. Out of bounds. Incomplete. Arkansas State will take over on down. Two defense. Hitting the quarterback out of bounds. Have the distance to goal. First down. Can you believe that? A late hit on the quarterback.
Dowdy in the end zone. Out of, Out bounds. of bounds, incomplete. Second down and 10. And they've got to throw to the end zone because if they get tackled outside of the end zone, they may not have a play left. Dowdy, incomplete. And a flag is thrown. Mitchell Henry, the intense. Defense, number 27. Ball will be placed at the two-yard line. Remember, this drive started at the Western Kentucky one. Dowdy in the end zone. Incomplete. They wanted Nick Bosch, but he couldn't hold the football. And get stopped. This game is over. And no timeouts. Dowdy throwing end zone. Touchdown. Willie McNeil. And the celebration begins for Western Kentucky. Willie McNeil did a great job running the whip route. They had a double whip route on that play. Willie McNeil goes to the inside hard and cuts back out. There's no defenders out there. Great job. Great play call. And he does back. have a big leg. If they could get him into field goal range, that would be an option. But here it is with the last play of the fourth quarter, and it is caught. And they're going to have to keep tossing the football all over the place. Ball is loose on the turf. Out of bounds. And this game's over at Western Kentucky with their eighth win of the year. And they take a big step forward towards securing a bowl game in the first year for head coach Bobby Petrino.